Make sure you stay until the end. We will explain common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays, guys, and how that can cost you quite a bit of money that you don't need to spend. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having Chevy Malibu. We're talking specifically about this generation here from year 2016 to year 2023. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the radiator fan does not turn off and the radiator fan stays on. We will explain what you need to check, what can easily cause that. Where you can guys buy cheap parts, tubes, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your own money and time. And why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have a Chevy Malibu, we are talking about that generation here from 2006 to all the way 2023, guys. If you have one of those, we'll be making a video about every fuse, every relay in that car. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Let's say you're down the road, you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you're trying to find where the engine starter fuse or fuel pump fuse is located. All you have to do, come to the channel, search less than one, two minutes, you fix that problem, you're back on the road because sometimes in the menus it, it will not be cleared it will not be mentioned guys if you need to buy guys okay any parts tools fuses anything for your chevy money boy the really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out now here in the garage guys we constantly work on things constantly working on new vehicles guys we do engine work mechanical work transmission work body work anything you can think of so we're constantly adding new vehicles so if you need help with anything just leave a comment below so let's go ahead and start on it now so now guys if radiator fan does not turn off what can easily cause that first there is one fuse that you need to check guys we're going to explain where it's located uh, we'll demonstrate on that 2017 model chevy malibu you have three different fuse boxes we'll be working today in one of them open the hood you will face the engine facing the engine on the right side this is the driver's side in that uh, under that cover you have a fuse box go ahead open the cover you see a fuse box layout that looks like this one here and now this is the same one just a different angle before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here we're going to zoom in guys and if we zoom in the relay that we'll be looking for uh, excuse me the fuse that we're looking for for the radiator fan is known as fuse number 60 which is a 60 amp fuse right here check that fuse guys okay now other things that can cause radiator fan to stay on it could be guys bad coolant temperature sensor or disconnected coolant temperature sensor because if the coolant temperature sensor doesn't work if it's bad if it's disconnected the engine computer will not know the temperature of the engine so automatically it will activate the fan often to prevent it from overheating number two it could be a bad wiring okay signal wire going from the engine computer to the radiator fan number three it could be bad radiator fan itself because sometimes the fan has a module computer and that cannot be working sometimes correctly it may be stuck in on position guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having problems with that thank you for watching see you guys next time